Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakach Wadash, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. Double honor to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Honors and blessings to you, brothers, teaching the word of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, true faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, and as always, peace and mercy to the elect of Israel. Excuse me, my name is Yohanadun. And um, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I have another quick lesson here. Lord willing, you know, I hope this will feed and edify the elect, the hopeful elect of Israel. All right, and mainly, you know, this lesson is going to be for you brothers out there that's, you know, working out your own salvation with fear and trembling on a daily basis. You know, you brothers that are given diligence to make your calling and election sure, doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, doing his work, man. Sacrificing your lives, making your body a living sacrifice for Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. This lesson is for you, brothers, you know, and even for you, uh, you few sisters as well, all right, because you have your job, you know, you have your part to play as well, you know, but mainly uh, for the brothers, man, that's out there on the highways and byways, that's doing videos throughout the week, you know, this lesson is for you, and I pray and hope that it could be comforting and uplifting to your spirit, man. All right, and of course, edifying. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. And I'm going to read 16 and 17. It says, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, woe is me. Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. All right, so you have to understand that first and foremost, all right, we understand this, that it's not of our own will that we came into this truth, man. It's not of our own will that we was called into doing this work, all right, with our fellow yokemen, our, our brethren, you know, starting with the apostles on down, it's not of our own will, all right, we didn't choose ourselves, we didn't call ourselves, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has called us and chosen us to do this work, well, let me say, uh, called us, because the scriptures do say many are called, but few are chosen, we don't know if we're chosen yet, but we have been called to do this job, man, and it's a necessity that have been laid upon us, there's nothing that we can glory of. All right, we have to do this thing with all humility, with all honesty, all right, with no guile in our hearts, which is your mind, lob in the Hebrew. You know, this is what this is what this is about, man. This is what Paul, this is the spirit that the apostle Paul was in and is in, all right, because he is back through the reincarnation. I believe that based on my own faith, all right, and in all these scriptures that tell you what to do, man, you know, work out your own salvation, make your body a living sacrifice, give diligence to make it calling an election sure. These are the things that we do, man. When you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, a soldier of Hamashiach Yahushua should not be entangled with the affairs of this life. Apostle Elder Tahar just put up a video, or rather he put a video up, and a brother um, pretty much took the, a clip out of the video, pretty much what? Admonishing brothers that if you have a guy that hasn't done a video in a week or two weeks, mark that man, man. Scopeo that man. All right, because why? Because the scripture said it right here. For necessity is laid upon me, yeah, woe is, is on to me if I preach not the gospel. So if you was called into this thing and you're not preaching the gospel, woe is on to you, man, on to all of us. All right, we have to do this thing. It's not a choice. It's not an option. All right, we have to do this thing, man, and we do it willfully. We do it willingly. All right, so that there could be a reward. Like the next verse is going to say, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed onto me. That's right, man. So you have to do this thing willingly. All right? You can't do it to uh, fear the eyes of men. All right? To, to, uh, to please men, to glory amongst men. Oh, I did 20 videos this week. All right? You have to do this thing willingly to please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to work out your own salvation, man. That's what this is all about. All right? You don't want to go through the time of famine. You don't want to starve. And, you know, you don't want to go through the time of martial law. You don't want to see your family and your loved ones being uh, uh, ravished. You know, your wife, your children, maybe being eaten by cannibals. None of us want to go through that, man. The Lord had opened us up to this truth and the prophecies in this Bible. All right. We are blessed uh, to see these things and to understand these things in the Bible. But now we got to do the work and get the blood off our hands, man. Like it said in the book of Ezekiel, you got to you got to give warning to the house of Israel. It didn't say to all nations, it didn't say to everyone, this thing is all about Israel, man. We go out there and warn you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, tell you to get right, get your garment, your spiritual garment on, 
All right, take the blood off your hands by teaching his word, come out on the highways and byways and work out your own salvation. All right, that's what we preach, man. That's the, that's the gospel. That's the good news. Yahweh Shah is on his way. But guess what? If one person is getting good news, that's not for everybody, man. Somebody got to be getting bad news. All right, and the, and the good news for the elect, for the hopeful elect of Israel is that um, there's a reward for this thing, man. The Most High is not unrighteous to forget your, your works and labor of love. All right, so if you do this thing will, willingly, there's a reward for you, man. And if you don't do it will, willingly, excuse me, if it's against your will, meaning if you're grieving, if you if it's grieving you to um to carry this burden, to carry your cross daily, like Yahweh said, and you can't be his disciple if you don't carry your cross daily, and if you don't do these things, it's woe unto you, man. All right, so this is just a quick, you know, an admonishment and an exhortation to you brothers to keep pushing, man. We can't give up, man. We at the final stretch of this thing. Yahweh Shai is on his way. He said, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. All right. And we all want that reward. The kingdom of heaven, salvation, immortality. All right. Slaves having the heathens, the heathen nations in captivity. This is the things that we want. These are the things that we preach about. This is the patience and the faith of the saints, man, which are Israelites. So I hope and pray through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, this short lesson was edifying to the elect of Israel. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truth. All right, and you and Psalms 51, man, take not that Holy Spirit away from us, man. All right, you should be praying that prayer on a daily basis. All right, so with that, Shalom.